Welcome, children. I am so glad to be in this worship circle with you today. As we settle in, I would like to share a spiritual practice with you. Now, a spiritual practice is something we do to help us practice listening to God. There are many spiritual practices. Prayer is a spiritual practice. Writing in a journal is a spiritual practice. There are many ways to be still and listen to God. Sometimes when I dig in my garden, I'm listening to God. I wonder, do you have a spiritual practice that helps you listen to God? One of the easiest spiritual practices I know is breathing deeply. I like this one. I can do it right here at home. I breathe in and I fill myself all the way down into my belly and I let it go and relax my shoulders when I exhale. Let's try it together. You ready? Okay, let it come. And let it go, relax those shoulders, yes. Let's do it again. Let it come. And let it go. I find this practice helps me listen to God. Let's listen as Allie reads for us. Listen to discover Jesus' spiritual practice. Today, I will be reading from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verses 29 through 39. After leaving the synagogue, Jesus, James, and John went home with Simon and Andrew. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed, sick with a fever, and they told Jesus about her at once. He went to her, took her by the hand, and raised her up. The fever left her, and she served them. That evening at sunset, people brought to Jesus those who were sick or demon-possessed. The whole town gathered near the door. He healed many who were sick with all kinds of diseases, and he threw out many demons. But he didn't let the demons speak because they recognized him. Early in the morning, well before sunrise, Jesus rose and went to a deserted place where he could be alone in prayer. Simon and those with him tracked him down. When they found him, they told him, everyone's looking for you. He replied, let's head in the other direction to the nearby villages so that I can preach there too. That's why I've come. He traveled through Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and throwing out demons. The word of God for the people of God. The story says Jesus spent the whole day working in one house, healing all the people in town. He went to bed, then he got up early and he found a quiet place to pray. Oh my, there it is. Jesus' spiritual practice. Jesus found a quiet place to pray, a quiet place to listen to God. When his disciples found him, he already knew what to do next. They didn't go back to the house. They went to other villages. Throughout his ministry, Jesus kept on listening to God. It always helped him make good choices. Do you have a quiet place in or near your home? A blessed space, a special place. We can be right in our own homes, in our own quiet place to listen to God. We can breathe in and welcome God right into us. We can breathe out and let go of our worries and our stress. Let it come and let it go. Let's pray. I'll say a line and you can echo. Oh God, we want to hear you. Help us find a quiet place right in our own homes. Help us take a deep breath and listen to you. Amen. Now, receive this blessing. 
Dear children, may you always remember God is with you as close as your own breath. Amen. Now, I wonder what Pastor Linda will have to say about this Bible story. Let's remember to breathe deeply, to listen with our hearts and our minds and our ears. Let it come and let it go. <laughs>